Most people in life are looking for how do I make a life worth living and a term worth having. But there are people who live in poverty, who live without the grace of God, who think they have rights to other people's property, intellectual property, and copywritten work. The truth is they don't have any rights to a person's computer, cell phone, clothing, home, and other goods. When I say these things, the children from foreign lands don't give a shit. They will continue to abate our laws. They will continue to play their games. And they will continue to harm people in abuse. When the Lord looks down upon them, he knows they have no Christ in them. When the Lord looks down on a person in poverty, he checks whether or not he is in them. When a bitch from the military or a woman who is married to a military man thinks she's above other people, she loses her rights today. She allows theft in her store, and what I can say to you is, we don't play this way in America. We talk to people if we have a question, but we do not interfere with anyone's life today because of the legalities of our own life and what can happen to us when we interfere and the lethalities of truth. That if you interfere with someone protected in a situation that you know nothing about, you could end up dead. Let's be very clear. The liars of American life come here and never leave. They're supposed to leave. They come here as students, and they lie to themselves that they have rights to go get a job in some American company. But in order to do that, they have to have a Social Security card. So they go out of their way to steal them, to borrow them, to utilize them. And sometimes they kill for them. But when I'm saying these things, you always have a community leader that is trying to be in charge of someone. And the truth is, you don't have the right to be in charge of anyone. If you're a person of the Lord's house, you recognize that God makes all kinds of people. But the shitbags of a community are usually overweight white men who have no lives outside of their hourly jobs. The crackheads of a community are the bitches who marry black men who sit their ass on a street corner and panhandle, pretending that other men that they might like better than their husband are their husbands. How immoral. When we talk about people, we better have the fucking right to do so. When we don't have the lawful right to do so, we better be prepared for the legalities that could face us and the lethalities that can take us. No one threatens people today is not true. On a regular basis, I get told to be safe out there as if we're at the end of a Hill Street Blue company television show. But that is not truthful. What the person is implying is, I don't like you here, and I hope to God something happens to you. You see, it's a bit of reverse psychology, or it's a bit of warning that my crew is going to come after you at night. But here's what I can say to you. The minute you cross the line in front of God, thinking you were going to own somebody or take some property or steal from someone, you totally ruined yourself with God.